position is because they got the guy they wanted to fuck, but they couldn't keep him like most most women. They can't. Woman has no control over keeping a man. They have control over 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 standing there and being woman and waiting for suitors to come to them. But woman has no control over keeping anything of value. All right. In any sense, she has no control over it. Now, you may think she has control over it, but she really has no control over anything. He only compliments your appearance. This is always a red flag when it comes to a guy's intention. Perhaps he doesn't like anything about you other than the way you look. Well, okay, and women. Now, now, okay, now to women. What else do you have to offer other than the way you look in a relationship? See, that's the part that hurts. And that's what I guarantee we're going to skate around that because this, this is a website made for bitches. And you got to keep bitches coming back. So you got to tell them what they want to hear. But... So, again, perhaps he doesn't like anything about you other than the way you look. It's also possible that he doesn't know anything about you other than what he can see in front of him. Either way, if he obsesses over your over your appearance, he probably has a one track mind. OK, now, on the other end, women to any woman who may read this, these articles or watch this video. What else are you actually offering that guy other than the way you look other than the way you look walking up smiling? <laughs> oh, tee -hee. What? Oh, yeah. What? What else do you have to offer? What else are you offering? Well, and there you go. But again, woman can't. Woman and accountability—that's like mixing water and oil. It should don't mix. Number five. He's a taker, not a giver. Which can slow. Okay, number five. I'm not even. I haven't even read this yet. But number five can trickle into what was it? Number one. Number five and number one can can be because that, that that's that that those are those are very similar to each other in the reality. Because again, because again, again, again. Now let's flip this. He's a taker, not a giver, right? Now we all knows we all all, all all every guy knows what happens if you spoil a bitch with gifts and presents and give her. If you give 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 give, you going that, that that's the fastest way to get her to, to run away from you. You know if 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 you're too nice. You give her, give her, well, you got to take something because he, he, once you start taking shit, that now gives her purpose in your life because, because, okay, now to, to go back on the pre, on the, one of the previous steps, um, her only purpose initially is to look cute and smile, wear some cute boots with some jeans and smile. That's her only purpose. That's all most women are going to have to offer you. OK, that's all they are going. That's most women. That's all they are going to have to actually offer you in a relationship. And this is why most women get pumped and dumped <laughs> right now. The reason why he's a taker, not a giver still makes this list, which which means he's a taker, not a giver, which means the taker fucks her and the giver has to wait for pussy to come around. The taker fucks her is because he, when he's a taker, that now gives the woman an objective and something to do in your life when you take from her. You see what I'm saying? And I think like like I said earlier, woman's end goal is to, women's woman's end goal is to be miserable. Like she likes it. Like woman likes to be miserable. She won't say it out loud, you know, in, 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 in you know, in open places where other people can hear. Her. She won't say it out loud. But woman likes it because when she's miserable, see, now there's some purpose. Now she can at least try to figure out how to how to get something, fix something, do something to make it better. But when let's see, like, and this is why I talk about in older videos, like guys, like, like if guys, if you go out there and you're just too, too nice, she has no other, she has no purpose other than just existing. She has no form of employment if you just give the bitch everything all the time. So you got to take from her. But anyway, let's go here. A guy's behavior in the bedroom can often tell you a lot about his attention. It's always a bad sign if everything is all about him. If he's interested in something long term, he should be a little more concerned with your needs, at least early on. But a guy who is self-centered in bed probably isn't interested in taking the relationship outside the bedroom. Well, yeah. And again, women get hooked on these guys. Women are hooked on them. What woman gets hooked on these men who don't care, right? Okay, okay, let, let me let me phrase that better. Woman gets hooked on these guys at a far faster rate than they get hooked on a guy who's trying to give her who's trying to give her. Okay, when I okay, when I say get hooked, 
they get hooked and they get like hurt if the motherfucker don't call her back, text her back and shit like that. See, if you giving a bitch something all the, all the time, all the time, every day, you paying for all the food, paying for this and paying for that. You doing everything you can. If you don't call, if, she, if look, if you don't call her back, she really ain't, you know, she really ain't going to be hurt or nothing like that. But for a motherfucker who, who is, is doing his own thing, see, for, for a guy who is doing his own thing and then walks off, see, that hurts the woman more. Because when you're doing your own thing, you, okay, to in, in, in woman and in human's mind, when you're doing your own thing and you don't call somebody back, like that hurts them. When you don't hurt a call them back for whatever reason, that hurts them deeper because like because they know that you're doing what you want to do and you just don't want to talk to them right now now i mean now there are other scenarios maybe you know you got busy with work or whatever the fuck but but to bitches that guy hurts the woman a lot more than the guy who's paying for all this shit that you know doing paying for everything she's doing you know drive her across the town to go to the grocery store and then you know what i'm saying all that shit like the guy who's doing that she ain't gonna be hurt when that motherfucker don't come back around right <laughs> Because be, 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 because she knew that he was doing that only for her, and it wasn't because that's what he really wanted to do. It, 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 he he wanted to do it, but he he didn't want to do it for himself and then do it for her. He he was doing everything in his heart for her, and which put her on a pedestal. And nobody wants to be worshipped, especially women. And it, and that's why she doesn't care anymore. So step six, you don't spend the night together. If a guy is quick to leave or kick you out after sex, it's clear he, it's clear that's all he wants. I mean, we all need to get some sleep or wake up early sometimes. That's not always a good a good enough excuse for leaving after having sex with someone. If he refuses to spend a night with you, the relationship for him is probably 100% about sex. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm speaking from my half of it. Like, I once I go somewhere for the night, I'm, I'm going to stay there unless something really bad happens. So I really can't speak on that on on that specific topic because like I said I've always been the guy like once I get somewhere like I'm going to unless something really 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 goes bad like a fight breaks out or something like that or you know something crazy happens like I'm just, I'm going to stay there and sleep and then when I wake up I just leave so I really can't speak on that for the average dude but I'm willing to guess yet yeah, I he's probably right as I because I'm lazy I can't see myself going somewhere doing that and then getting up and leaving. I'm going to stay there and sleep. And I know I'm not going to have a relationship with this, you know, with this girl. I mean, I was thinking about this girl in college. Her name was Toya. That was a crazy story. But anyway, that's a story for another time. The conversation lags behind the physical. Yeah. The conversation lags behind the physical. And see, the deeper part of this is the deeper. OK, the, the, the reality of, the, of step seven, the conversation lags behind the physical. OK, the reality of it is most women are going. OK, mo one, most women are not going to be interesting, not going to have anything genuinely, you know, creative to talk about or anything like that. They won't know how to bring anything up or anything, anything like that. Right. So what most women will do is they'll like at most they'll try to coax you, they'll try to trick you into cre creating a relationship to hide the fact I mean, creating a conversation to hide the fact that she doesn't know how to do it. Right. <laughs> Because it's never going to be like the, the woman is never going to very rarely. You will find some who can. But most of the times they're waiting on you. You OK, you have. OK, what this translates into the conversation lags behind the physical. What this translates into is the guy doesn't initiate the conversation for me to follow. That's what that translates as, as woman. The guy doesn't initiate the conversation for me to follow <laughs> type of shit. So he must be bad. So this step is. It's fine to have a mostly physical connection with someone, but at some point there needs to be a more of an intellectual or emotional connection. If this is lagging way behind the sex life, it's possible that the guy has no intention of making the relationship about anything more than sex. It's possible he's done this on purpose by never trying to get to know you on a deeper level. OK, uh, it, well, what about this, bitches? How come you figure out a way how to initiate a conversation and try some shit and try some and try some emotional connection that, that, that does not rely on waiting for the man to to to, to carry an entire conversation because i'd I be because bitches i'd be honest with y'all that shit gets it's fucking exhausting and it gets fucking annoying especially the older guys get this is why the older guys get there's the older guys get a lot of us we ain't even trying to talk to you like that 
Like, you know what I'm saying? We'll do it, you know, once in a blue moon, but we ain't trying to talk because that shit gets, ex it's, it's exhausting and annoying. 